so it's the end of April now and I'm just like so sweaty my fan is on full I think this is the time of the year when I start looking forward to Mumbai monsoon which is its own kind of horror anything to get some respite from this insane heat we've been having Hi guys, it's Magali and if it's your first time on my channel then welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I make regular videos on beauty, fashion and lifestyle. And I also do very regular monthly favorites videos. Although I did consider whether I should uh, just not do one this month because April's has been a terrible month for the whole of India. I'm sure you know that already. So I don't want to rehash how depressing the news has been. Because it's been a lot to deal with and I think all of us have struggled with how awful the situation has been throughout the country with the second wave hitting us so hard and everybody knows somebody that has uh, died now which is just a really dark thought. I count myself fortunate I guess like I'm safe, my parents are safe and we are locked down in Mumbai. So we've just been staying home for this entire month. My parents are now officially fully vaccinated which is wonderful. As soon as I am eligible to get vaccinated I will do so as well. So that is something I'm definitely looking forward to. The reason I'm going forward with this favourites even after the month that it's been has been because you know we need a little bit of distraction from everything that's been happening and I'm not saying be an ostrich bury your head in the sand and act like what's happening is not happening but also you cannot engage with this news 24 7 it's so draining it's so stressful and you just need to find things you like doing and things that give you a little bit of calm so two things that have been keeping me sane in general for the month of april have been using like skincare and beauty products a little bit and also plants i got so many new plants in april i'm sure you guys can see the crowd of plants behind me in the backdrop and i'm also looking at a bunch of plants in front of me here i got some new plants from ugao i got some new plants from a local nursery. Shilpa sent me a plant for my birthday which was lovely. It was my second birthday in lockdown but it was nice and sweet and it was made pretty special by the people close to me. So for this month's favorites I have a few beauty products namely a little bit of hair care and a little bit of skincare. I have a book and I have a TV show as well. I'm gonna get started with my first two picks. This is hair care and basically this is a single range from L'Oreal. It's the Extraordinary Clay Shampoo and Conditioner. This is supposed to be a rebalancing range and this is something that I love turning to whenever it gets really hot. Because in Mumbai, the extreme heat is accompanied with a lot of humidity. High humidity can mean a lot of good things. It's great for tropical plants. It actually keeps your skin nice and plump and it does give your hair volume as well so it's not all bad but one of the downsides is that you get sweaty you get skin that gets oily super fast and a lot of us we get greasy scalps also so we feel like washing our hair really often i turn to this range to help me lengthen the time between washes otherwise i would be washing my hair every alternate day and that's not practical when I use this range then I can push that to every third day quite comfortably. It really makes a difference. It is really gentle and it's also a silicon free range. So that is something that's amazing. I have not cut out silicones completely but I do try to avoid them. So if you are getting just one of these products, I would definitely recommend the shampoo. Uh, but the conditioner is also really nice. It works well in conjunction using both of them together. And the shampoo especially is available in a bunch of different sizes. So, you know, when I finish this off, I'm just going to get like the biggest size that they have. This is a really good one for hot sticky weather, you know. I just colored my hair yesterday actually. <laughs> I actually really like it and I thought I would have to use different shampoos or conditioners now and then I checked the back of it and these are also color safe so I'm gonna continue using them all of May and probably a little bit of June as long as the weather is like this. So now I have a couple of Korean skincare products from a few different brands. It's not necessarily summer specific. This is stuff that you can use all the year round if you have skin like mine which is kind of sensitive and you know combination acne prone type of skin 
So first thing is from Cosmetics, and it's their BHA Blackhead Bar Liquid. And if you struggle with oily skin and acne, BHA is an ingredient that will work perfectly in your skincare and BHA or beta hydroxy acid is not one particular ingredient it's just a group of acids that really complement this kind of skin type and it'll help with exfoliating your skin so you should not use scrubs it will help with sort of a brightening effect and when I say brightening I don't mean lightening you're not going to like you know become lighter skin tone because I never ever feature like fairness products you should love the skin you have if you want to be technical they don't really work and they're selling a pipe dream but this is just really great at exfoliating your skin reducing sebum reducing that excess oiliness kind of reducing the amount of acne or texture that you might have also and this works great as a mild body exfoliator as well so i like to use this on my upper arms too which is where i have a little bit of keratosis pilaris it's not the same as acne but you know your hair follicles just get a build up of keratin and you have that kind of um, bumpy texture so this works amazingly well on it and though i've been using it for a while now there's actually so little that's finished because you know you just need one pump at a time and you apply this after your face is cleansed you can kind of gently pat it in like a serum just avoid your eye area or you can just take it on a cotton pad and gently swipe it through something like a toner and then follow it up with a moisturizer if you are just starting to use this product and you don't have BHAs in your routine I would suggest take it a little bit slow at the start you know use it every two days use it every alternate day and then you could build up to using it daily it is really quite gentle it actually has some ingredients in it like willow bark extract that help soothe your skin so that it will never irritate or inflame your skin in any way the next skincare product that i have is from Laneige. this is the sika sleeping mask this is just a sika or centella asiatica based egg night cream and i love using this for any time that my skin is inflamed irritated or just needs a little bit of soothing especially during a particular time of your menstrual cycle if like me you experience like more flare-ups of acne on your face and if they are red and angry this will really help calm it down this is really quite similar in effect to the Clarice Midnight Blue Calming Cream so if you have been wanting to try that one you could also try this one and I have finished up with my Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream but since I have this one in my life I don't miss it so much because it fills the void pretty much so if you're looking to buy either of these products I have a couple of discount codes for you guys that will help you save a little bit of money I take my monthly favorite recommendations very seriously if I'm putting something in here you know that it's probably a good product but skincare is also pretty subjective so what works for me may not work for you and I would recommend like knowing your skin do a little bit of research before you buy something and only really buy something if you think that you know you need it if you think that it'll help you just try not to hoard I've fallen into that pit in the past where I just hoard too much of stuff so you know if you have stuff at home already use that up first but if you need new moisturizer if you need a new chemical exfoliant these are two pretty good ones if you're in india i definitely recommend that you guys check out limes which is an indian website that stocks a bunch of different korean brands so their selections a little bit more curated you won't see all of the brands but they do have cosrx and they also have claire's there which are two amazing brands that i swear by as well as a bunch of other brands i believe my discount code expires at the end of april so you only really have you know till the end of april to use it if you guys wait till may you will not be able to use it so you know if you've been looking to pick something up from limes you can use my discount code magali uh, to get 10 percent off and if you live outside of India pretty much anywhere and you'd like to buy legit Korean products I can't recommend YesStyle enough they have almost every brand imaginable on YesStyle so you'll get Laneige, you'll get Cosrx, you'll get Claire's and so many other brands available 
Honya style. They have some of the best Korean makeup and a lot of different fashion items as well. So that's it for like the beauty stuff for this month. And now we're gonna move on to the book recommendation that I have for you guys. This book has delighted me so much already. And I used to be a really big reader as a child and as a teenager. But for some reason now I have been in a reading rut for like the last 10 years my rut has lasted more than a decade of which really sucks and i should work on it but the book that i've loved for the month of april is uh, this one a little book of magical plants by raskin bond and this was actually sent to me on my birthday by my friend beverly so if you're watching thank you beverly i recently was reading this after i actually worked out my plants and so I got some mud on the cover it's hardbound and it has this like green foil type of effect for plants there's not a lot of like written matter to read in here which is what makes it so amazing even if you have like a short attention span and can't concentrate it's pretty as an object and something that you can just thumb through in your spare time so in it Ruskin Bond has kind of just talked about a few random plants that he likes not just house plants but all different plants and you can see a little bit of which plants are mentioned here this is what it looks like the rubber plant page there is this beautiful little drawing of the plant and then there is a little write-up and there is just gorgeous calligraphy everywhere i have a complicated history with the rubber plant it's known as ficus elastica and i've always wanted one uh, so i bought rubber plants a bunch of times like three or four different ones and I think it's because they're native to the Himalayas but they did not survive with me and I really tried uh, but one by one they all died now I think I have a little rubber plant cutting here somewhere here it is so I have a variegated rubber plant cutting this is the ficus elastica tinnicae and it has just been sitting in a bottle of water but I'm not sure if I can plant this it's not been growing roots and I feel like I, I just have to say goodbye to this plant because it's not going to survive. I don't know why I've had such bad luck with this particular plant only. But for now it's been living in the bottle for a while and it's even put out a new leaf in the bottle like, like this. Whoops. So yeah, I just got a little bit carried away. But really pretty little book if you like hardbound books, if you like Ruskin Bond, if you like plants or nature. You know get this for yourself and if you know anyone who likes all of these things then just send it to them you know like gift it to them because it will make them so happy and right now in India I think one of the most important things that we can all do is just stay at home like not go out not go roaming and meet people and socialize in person I'm really grateful for the internet I'm grateful for social networking apps and I'm also grateful for online shopping because that bridges so many gaps and you know if I want to send somebody something I can just order it directly to their house and I think that's a modern convenience that I'm really really thankful for and now for my final favorite of the month I'm going to talk about a television show I've loved now this is actually a kids television show it's animated not the first time I'm recommending an animated show because I know sometime last year I recommended Dexter's Laboratory to you guys and I told you that you've probably already seen Dexter's Laboratory but you know go revisit it and it's something that you know you can enjoy even as an adult and the thing with cartoons is we all watch them in kids so we definitely missed a lot of the nuance that some of the cartoons have revisiting cartoons as adults can just be a great learning experience like that because all cartoons are made by adults uh, so there's usually like jokes and stuff layered in that you may have not caught back then but you will catch now I'm straying from the point again though the show that I want to recommend is this Disney show called Recess it focuses on this group of fourth standard kids basically I know it's set in a school in America but that was around the same time that I was in fourth standard there was that extra layer of me just really relating to their realities when you hear a Disney show you're probably cringing a little internally or you're just thinking of Disney movies and thinking that the show is gonna be like a Disney movie well it's absolutely not like that 
if you are in India, you can watch this on Disney Plus Hotstar. And if you're in any other country that has Disney Plus, then it should also have recess. It kind of revolves around this group of school kids, but you also see their extended, like their classmates and stuff. But most of it revolves around uh, their recess period, which is when they get to go out and play and eat a snack. And it brought back a lot of really nice memories. The main group of the show is this like bunch of diverse people who sort of represent all of the different archetypes. There's the leader, there's the sporty guy, there's the tough girl who likes to fight at any given opportunity. She just likes to fight. There's also the nerd. There's also the guy who's kind of like a little bit scared of everything. And I'm sure you will see yourself in one or more of the characters. I really like how they handle a lot of matters. It's definitely meant for a more mature audience than Dexter's Lab. That one is catered towards, you know, just younger kids, but this is something that's aimed at like, you know, 8 to 12 year old age group. But it's really intelligently written. The episodes sometimes do kind of tell you a moral, but it's not heavy handed and it's not presented in an overtly moralistic way. And it's very sensitively done. I love seeing all of like uh, the different like teachers and school staff, faculty and everything also because you know there are like the good teachers, the warm, loving, nurturing ones and there are like the grumpy, bitter ones. It's just everybody's well represented and it will remind you of school. Uh, hopefully not in a bad way because I personally have like really mixed memories when it comes to school. Like there were really great ones but there were also a lot of really sucky memories and I'm really glad that you know that time is behind me I don't romanticize it too much but I still really enjoyed reliving some of the parts of school with recess and I thought that I should tell you guys about it as well so that was it for my April favorites and now as we go into the new month I hope that the worst is behind us and that things are going to be better now the only message that I'm going to leave you guys with is please stay safe right now if you are in India please do your best to stay at home and take every single precaution that you can avoid going out but if you have to wear a mask wear a proper n95 mask or double mask you guys like be absolutely safe and if you are eligible for a vaccine please do take it this is the only way that we can protect ourselves and we can protect our loved ones and our community on the whole i would love to hear from you guys in the comments just about anything really let's just talk i'd love to connect with you guys if you have anything to share with me what was april like for you we can chat thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time